Hi Crocheters of the World, I am so very happy to present you my uh, latest uh, design. It's not actually a design of mine, it's that I've seen lately the photo photos <laughs> of this um, hoodie, uh, hooded neck warmer uh, on the internet, on Facebook, on Pinterest and there was so very beautiful, so very fancy, so very interesting and even comfortable because fancy and comfortable together it's just the, the, the most important thing that we can uh, gain on a project and this is exactly something like this because it is fancy as you can see really fancy it is so very comfortable because we have the with one piece we have the um, let's say the hat and we have the neck warmer too and we can use it like this it is just lovely like this too I adore it so it wasn't very easy for me to understand how to how to work it but I did it and now I am very very happy to show you in this tutorial. <coughs> Sorry. Now the yarn that I used it's marvelous. It's a fancy yarn because for a fancy pattern, pattern we really need a fancy yarn. It's the Galaxy. You can find it on our boutique, obvious. We ship only in Europe and it is it comes in so many shades, so many lovely shades. I choose this one, but you can choose, as I said, from so many lovely shades. Now, you will need just three balls, just three. And you have it. When I finish it, a idea came to my mind. What if we can use, we can just use a uh, one or two rounds of this one to embellish it if you want to so you can you can make it for you for yourself you can make it as a very lovely uh, uh, Christmas gift uh, about the Christmas you can make it red <laughs> isn't it just lovely red with this paillette so this is something that it's just perfect for a gift or maybe you want to work it with this beautiful yarn so I give you a, a, a substitute maybe if you don't like this one I don't think so but it's so very beautiful but maybe even for this one you will need uh, one uh, sorry three balls of yarn uh, it is a 50 grams yarn it is 20 sorry 200 meters in this one and 175 meters in this one so they are both really really nice and really beautiful Okay, I use 4 millimeters hook and, and let's get started. Hope you enjoy it. I really enjoy it. I, I have, I must, I must uh, say, I had some, some moments where, where it was really difficult for me to understand how to put together the parts, how to make the, the hoodie, and not for the neck warmer, for God's sake, the neck warmer is the easiest part of it, but for the hoodie a little bit it was, it was tricky for me, but for you, hope I succeeded to, uh, to do a good uh, and clear explanation in the tutorial, so for you will be, would be easy you tell me i let you to the tutorial don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to put a like on my tutorials if you like them and another very important thing for me share my tutorials share them with your friends share them on facebook on twitter share them for me it's very important of course if you like them i let you to the tutorial so let's see how to work this first of all i want to explain you we will begin with a neck warmer so just a neck warmer the circumference of mine is 62 so it must be the the first the the foundation chain that you will put must be about uh, between 62 to 64 centimeters okay so then we will join in round and we will work in round in spiral but the first circle the first uh, the foundation row must be like this now i will show you how i began and the stitch that i worked 
width it's really really nice as you can see okay the length it's about 30 centimeters okay this is the neck warm and this is the first part then we will work the hood I just need to sew it and then to sew it together here now the hood the hood it's worked like this horizontally okay so we will begin and I explain in the second part we will begin uh, with a long long chain and we will work like this now the length which means the number of rows that I put this must be half plus one centimeters half of this circumference so I have 62 uh, 31 plus one centimeters okay must be because I need a little bit more here okay so these are the important measures and now let me show you how to begin to work the neck warmer I worked in round now you will take your uh, yarn ball and you will need the yarn that comes from the center of the yarn ball and the yarn that comes from the outside the okay like this you will need both and I will show you why now take this and this with the yarn that comes from the center just make a nice slip knot oh this is exactly the okay the slip knot to begin okay I did it okay the slip knot to begin then take the other one take the other one and put it on your fold like this put it here on your hook now pinch here you have two loops on the hook actually as you can see yarn over pull through both it's a little bit strange to begin but you will see now you will yarn over with the yarn that comes from uh, the outside yarn over and pull through two yarn over with this one and then yarn over and pull through two yarn over with this one yarn over pull through two okay so it, this is the foundation that I used for this neck warmer I think it's just perfect because it creates as you can see a kind of single not a kind a single crochet foundation a chainless really easy as you can see and now we will continue on for the number of stitches that we need to put you have the circumference 62 to 64 centimeters and you just measure from time to time to be sure that you have it and must be even number that's all okay now let's let's say it's perfect for me I just want to show you how to join in round and to begin to work this stitch and I will cut this yarn that I used to put it over the hook and now I won't join for the first row yarn over uh, chain one sorry turn yarn over and let us work the first stitch which is a half double crochet worked like this pull up a loop three loops on the hook now the first goes through the second as a slip stitch yarn over pull through two these are the two steps so pull up a loop the first through the second and yarn over pull through two I pinched he I pinch here in the middle so it's easier to slip stitch actually it's a kind of slip stitch the first through the second yarn over pull through two and we go the first through the second yarn over pull through two and 
we just work like this all this first row and then at the end of this row we will join in round and we will continue on in round without slip stitch it's really really easy and uh, very nice I'm working the last stitch okay and now what I want to do is to join like this turn yarn over and directly go into your very first stitch and work a herringbone half double crochet and now I joined what I need to do immediately is to put a marker into this first stitch and I always put at the end of each row I will switch the marker and now I will put a marker into these two so I will just connect these two parts so of course here with the piece of yarns that I have I will join together this part but for now it's okay if you just leave it like this and from now on we will just continue on to work in round in spiral without slip stitch like this okay it's really easy and go ahead now for about 30 centimeters even more if you want to depends on you how long you want to be your neck warmers this is the first part and then I will show you how to work the hoodie and how to put the two parts together okay so I will just continue on like this working in spiral and of course when I reach the marker I will take it off work the stitch into that stitch with the marker and then I will put the marker on because that is the the end actually the beginning of the round it marks the, the end and the beginning okay of a new round and as you can see to work it easier I pinch in the middle when I slip stitch okay I am just here now I have one more to complete so I take off the marker and work the stitch this is the first stitch of each row and put the marker again okay that's it So I almost finished the length of the neck warmer, the first part of our neck warmer with uh, hood or hooded neck warmer uh, and um, now I just want to measure, I want to know <laughs> how many stitches I put here, so I put 96 and I will need about 10 centimeters more for the hood, for the uh, first chain, so the, the foundation row of the hood to begin the hood and what I want to do is to just measure so this let's say which is my first I will put a a marker somewhere just to know which is my first stitch to measure this is my first stitch to measure and from here I will just measure 10 so it's this is the last so I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. 16 stitches I need to add to my 96. So it's 112 stitches that I need to put for the hood. This is how you count uh, how. And now let me show you the foundation I, I already shown you but I just want to show you one more time. So let me show you how to begin. You will begin with the same method that I already shown you at the beginning when I, when we began the neck warmer but anyway 
here it is from the inside it's the yarn that I will work with uh, I will use the 4 millimeters 4.5 millimeters hook and from the outside the, the yarn that I will use to put the stitches on so this is the first one like this just yarn over pull through and now I will continue on like this pull Oops. this and two let's go ahead three four and I will work five work nice and loose six seven eight nine and I will work 112 10 11 12 okay so it's nice and loose I have my stitches here I can count them when I want to count them so I will just continue on for 112 so I have my 112 stitches here and now I began my first row I cut the yarn from the outside I'm working now so this is my working yarn from the inside and I'm just working my stitches half double crochet herringbone half double crochet as exactly the same stitch that I used for the neck warmer and I will work only two quarters of the height that I know that I need to complete for the hoodie and for the other quarter I will come back to show you how to work it just to obtain a rounded hood not straight okay just go ahead and work this this two or wait for me <laughs> to be back with the two quarters of the height that I need it will be about 300 uh, sorry 330 centimeters the, the entire height so about 20 centimeters I will work like this in rows like this okay so from for my hoodie I completed about 20 centimeters it's 24 uh, rows here and into the 25th I worked only a half, a half less the last three stitches. So as you know I have 112 stitches and a half it's 56. So I completed 53 because the last three I will uh, close them together in a decrease. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, so yarn over insert hook into the first insert hook into the next insert hook into the next these are my three stitches that I want to work together now yarn over and pull through two then keep like this and pull through these two and now through these two and this is my decrease now I will chain one and turn And I will begin with a decrease here so it's one two three yarn over insert hook into the first pull up a loop second pull up a loop third pull, pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and now just pinch and this one through these two and then yarn over pull through two okay this is how we work our decreases I will put a marker so I know where I decreased at the end now I will finish all this row then I will come back and again I will do an increase at the end of the row then 
I will do increase, uh, sorry, decrease at the end, uh, uh, at the beginning of the next row, and so on. For about, I work 24. So for about a quarter, I won't work uh, 12 st uh, rows, but about 10, 10, 11. Okay, now just. And of course, on the other side, I will do the same thing. I will show you how to begin on the other side too. Okay, so that's it. So I made a half or 11 rows and now I have to work the same thing on the other side, so here. And I will begin to work, just let me think a little bit where it's here that I need to begin to work where I put the marker and I actually will begin with a decrease so it's one two and three pull through two and now like this and go ahead and work your first row so as I said I completed 11 rows now I will go ahead and complete 11 rows on this side too. This is the first decrease. I will use this marker to mark the decreases. And yes, I will complete the other side. So I completed all... Here I already... I completed all the hoodie with the decreases. Here it is. The part of the decreases and as I I've told you at the beginning of the tutorial the length of the hoodie so actually um, the number of of rows this is the length must be half plus one half centimeters plus one uh, as of the circumference of the neck warmer so the circumference of the neck worm in my case is 62. This might be, might be, uh, must be 31 plus 1 centimeters. Okay, so this is the idea. You must complete this. And now I will just fold in two. This. With this side. And now I will slip stitch to join this part of the hoodie. Okay, like this, I will go into the first, and then slip stitch into each, I'll try to take only two, so one loop on one side, one loop on the other side, like this. Okay, that's it. Now go ahead and join stitch by stitch with the slip stitch this part and of course the part where you decreased. Okay, and then we will go ahead and I will show you the next part to put together actually the parts to have the hoodie neck warmer hoodie or hooded neck warmer actually like this it is just perfect so this is how it looks after I this is the wrong side and this is the right side of my hoodie and this is how it looks it looks really really nice and now what I need to do is on this side or around the face actually on the right side not on the wrong side I will just fold about five rows one two three four five so it's like this 
and with sewing needle and sewing yarn I will sew but on the right side fold it okay not on the wrong side please on the right side fold it's this is the line that I will follow fold and go okay fold and go like this okay now I will just go ahead and so okay just like that okay like this will be so this is the border it is just perfect the, the border that I folded and I also made my uh, cord uh, drawstring it's a chain and then slip stitch on the back loop only so it's really really easy I have a safety pin and I will just go ahead and put my drawstring through this part that I folded and sewn together okay then I will show you the last part how to join together actually the hood so to join the hood at the sew the hood at the um, neck warmer to sew together the parts you will have to put it like this the hood it's very important the hood it's with the front side so with the right side sorry like this the neck warmer is with the wrong side wrong side right side <laughs> okay and it's here so you will put it over the 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 hood and it's here that you will i began to sew and i realized that when i realized that i didn't film this and uh, it might be important for you to know how to sew to get the parts so I said okay sorry it's that I am preparing my sewing yarn okay it's like this where it is here okay so it's like this now here where you have the drawstring you will try to to go as I will begin actually from here so just a little bit okay like this you, you have to leave we don't need a I can put here a marker to join together the parts and here too so like this it's okay the idea is not to leave a large space on the neck warmer for this okay and now I will just continue I will just begin not continue but begin to sew the two parts together then this one comes back and we have it <laughs> 